All right, we're back. With some uh, remake, the original one, of course. I feel like I'm leaning heavily into this mic right now. Uh, do I? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do it. That guy right there is a son of a bitch. You know, I got yelled at recently. Uh, yelled at is really overplaying it, but um, my friend Schmutz, who I mentioned, will be possibly joining one of these as a as a dual cum collaborator. Wow, I really fucked up the word collaborator. Um, he's very upset with me for killing all the zombies. Because he said that I would leave a lot of crimson heads. And my response to that is... I'm not playing this game to be a pro. Clearly. Very clearly. Just playing it to have fun. Play a game I enjoy. Talk shit over it. It's all I've ever done. In fact, it's all I probably can do. My skill set isn't uh, isn't available for higher quality gameplays. Can't remember if this door has a. I know the other one. Oh, well, not the other one, because that doesn't narrow down a door. Ah, oh, sweet. This is it. Oh, there's your first crimson head. I guess it is after a certain amount of time, huh? Well, as you can see, if you uh, if you haven't played this game before, well, he wasn't that aggressive. He was about to be, and then I shotgunned him. But they sprint at you, and they have claws. They're just uh, an enemy you don't want to get caught in close quarters with without a shotgun or a grenade launcher. The pistol doesn't do a whole lot to him, I'm afraid. Okay, give me that. I also would like to say that I think this game is beautiful. Still. Right. Looks gorgeous, much like much like me. Definitely not the case. Although update, two days at the gym, feel like I'm gonna die. In fact I could die tonight. I'm telling you those gym updates, not for you guys, so don't think that I'm being like, oh bro, I go to the gym, bro. It's that when I stop doing it, if I'm still uploading videos, knock on wood, yes, I have an erection, uh, that I will be held accountable by all of you. <laughs> Specifically the guy that said fat fuck from Black Ops 2. That's who I want to be held accountable by. This is one of the worst scares in the game, I think. Like, I care about some pissy ass little zombie coming through a door. Because then you just do that to him. Ah, man. So, yeah, how's everyone's week? It's. It's now Thursday, and I think I did figure out. Look at his little hand hanging over. Um, hopefully, while you're watching this, we'll have fixed the darkness, the brightness levels. I think it's because my monitor looks very bright, obviously, because I've got it set to some higher level. Uh, so I didn't didn't notice last time. What was I saying then? How have I forgotten already? <laughs> uh, right. 
Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. You want to hit me? Shit, I can't remember if this goes up or down. I want to go green? Do I want to go red? Let's go green. Oh, shit. No. It took out the herbs. Fuck you. Now I've destroyed my green herbs that I wasn't going to take anyway. Oh, that's what I was saying. Uh, I think that me marking my videos as... Uh, what was I marking them? For 18 and over? Like, I marked them as not for kids. Clearly not for children. Um, but I had also marked them as 18 and over. And I noticed that the views were low on them. Not low, not like I expected thousands of views, but fuck you. In fact, I'd like to go and get my blue gem as I need that. Um, I Yeah, I think that was kind of hiding it from people. Maybe. I don't know how YouTube works anymore. Got long gone of the days where people would upload and set to private and then publish it and be in the top of feeds or fuck with the tags. All that shystery bullshit that people used to do back in the day. I hope YouTube fixed it. I, don't, I assume they did. I also apologize for having the sniffles. I believe that I have what Americans like to call allergies, which is the outdoors is trying to kill me. Slowly. Fuck you. Okay, good. I expected there to be a zombie in that passageway just waiting to pounce on me. Love me long time, as I believe is a borderline offensive thing to say. I have discovered that playing everybody's golf with shotgun, uh, not shotgun Zach, Zach, I haven't played with yet, but Toolbox Tommy is a, a genuinely one of the nicest men I've ever met, and um, if you know him, you would agree with that. But, oh, fuck you. Wait, you're not a Crimson Head, are you? No, you are not. Uh, but he is a real shit talker when it comes to everybody's golf. Which I also know as... Well, it used to be something else. Golf with friends or something? I don't know. But I played, um, I'm going to shut up for one of the greatest jump scares of all time. Oh, and one of the coolest, uh, diaries of all time. Uh, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the hot- wait, this is another day, sorry. May 10th, 98. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Gorilla? That's my Devonshire coming out. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th. At around 5am, Scott woke me up scared the shit out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Hang on, I need some water. 
because for some reason concentrating makes me thirsty. Okay, May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. May 14th. Found another big... <laughs> big blister? Big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Fuck me, this is longer than I thought it was. <sighs> May 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 21st. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. 4. Itchy. Tasty. What a classic. Classic. Uh, no, that is. And I think it's from this guy. I think it was him. I think Itchy Itchy Scott... Dead. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He just got stabbed in the face. Let's reload this shotgun. That was ASMR with Papa Moly. Don't I really don't know why I've taken to calling myself Papa. This guy looks always looked creepy to me. Whoa. Get fucking hand blasted. I think I died. Quickly, too. Alright, that's an ink ribbon. Don't need that. Though I do need these sheet notes. I wonder if I'll be able to hear it this uh this episode. It's one of my favorite pieces of music. Classical pieces of music. Which isn't saying a lot, because I'm not very cultured, as you can probably guess. Okay, let's go back to the main hall. As I believe there are some doors that I can still open. Spilled water on my desk. No cutscenes either, so I can't shut up for those. Uh, I don't have that key. Ooh, I do have this key, though. I know what we're going to be doing this episode. Probably. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. You know, in some ways, I think that this... Um, 
I know where it is. And I think that this voice acting might be worse than the original. I think it's the dead eyes. I really don't like that about video games. Most characters have just dead eyes. And it's unnerving. So the second one. Don't get up, you prick. With your little mitt hanging over the edge. I don't know why I now want to do something else other than get the serum. I do need that, don't I? Uh, I do need that. I think I need lighter. Should I come back and get that? I think I should come back and get that. Because I think I need some, some free spots for some uh, items here. Yeah, I think we'll come back. Wait, this key still doesn't open this, does it? A helmet, that's right. Helmet, armor, sword. I did realize that I... 99% certain that I've fucked up in my Resident Evil 2 playthrough and that I will not be going back to get the Magnum at the RPD. So I am heavily underpowered for the end game, which is fun. Can't wait to die repeatedly and then just never finish the game. Because that's what's that's what will happen. All right, Dick. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm. <laughs> Richard being incredibly deep there. Uh, now, is this our first boss fight? I believe it is. Ah, oh, Jesus. It's not even a boss fight yet. I do need what I thought I needed. Knob. Let's go grab it. Sorry, Richard. Got a little too excited, didn't we? Little too excited. I also think I should go in here. Oh god, now is, now you get to see the fun of me trying to figure this out again. Because I don't think I'm going to get it. Definitely not. That's just going to put the axe man back out, isn't it? Or not. 
Maybe I did it. No, I didn't do it. Yeah, I did it. Look at me. I'm a pro. It's much easier in the original where there's just a hole in the ground and you push a statue on it. That's right. Uh, what does it say? Sunshine will awaken me. I didn't fail, but I just fucked up. There we go. These dust masks are creepy as fuck. I think. Of course, I am a, a little bitch. Man, maybe I should. Should I save it here? I know I have to go back. I know I have to. <sighs> I know what I have to do, basically. I think my next step is obvious. Ah. Did you fix it, Barry? Thanks, Barry. That's nice of you. Barry Burton's a nice man. I am, I do genuinely think that they should um, make a game with Barry in it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pick up everything. Okay, let's get that combined with that. I think Barry has. Uh, there's a story that they need to explore a little more. Lighter. Musical score. Okay, we'll do this little section and then we'll save it. That'll be the end of the the vidya. I really want to get rid of these keys in my inventory. My space being taken up. Let's see if I can do that here. Okay, that one's gone. I don't think this one. Oh no, it doesn't even need a key. The other door in this room needs a key. The old helmet. I do have a new cable coming tomorrow so that I can hook up all of my old consoles to the Elgato and record. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Um, Cause I always feel like I want to play these games. I know you can get an emulator and it's fine if you've got the game or whatever, but I like playing them with the original controllers. I believe in my Resident Evil Zero video, I mentioned 
that I really didn't like playing that game because the controls on PC felt weird, even with like an Xbox controller. It just felt odd to me. Um, and I did play it again on my GameCube and it felt good, so I'm just going to guess that I'm a, a prissy little baby. Which is guaranteed. Okay, let me light these. Look at all that light. Go away, please. Thank you. And you're going to stay in this room forever. Forever and ever. Because I'm never coming back. Because I don't really have a need to. Whoa. What is that? Is that supposed to be that light flickering? Because that is annoying. It just looked like, like my game was bugging out. Which it could be. Okay, we're going back to the main hall. Ah, I got this. I got this. I know where we're going. I do enjoy that the last Resident Evil video that I put up had one comment. And it just said that they had skipped ahead uh, past the intro to the game. And the first word that they heard was dipshit. And that seems fitting if you're gonna if you're gonna watch one of my videos. A, it seems fitting that the first thing you hear is me cursing. And B, me being overly aggressive for no reason. Let's play this beautiful piece of music. This game is actually where I first heard that piece of music. It's not my favorite, but it is one of my favorite classical pieces. The other, or the, my favorite being Morning Mood by Grieg, which is top draw. I sure hope I pronounced the name right, because I've only ever read it. Don't know that I've ever said it out loud. just thought that door was open and that I could run through it. Let's see. What a simple puzzle. So anyway, I also feel like the puzzles in Resident Evil um, have gotten easier. And that's saying something, because I'm not saying these are hard puzzles by any stretch of the imagination. Most of the, <laughs> most of the Resident Evil 2 ones just seem to be flick switches until, until you hit the jackpot. 
pretty much covers my sex life. <coughs> a little, little self-deprecation there for you. Sure hope my wife never watches this because she will punch me for that joke. No, I need the. I need. I need the large. I need the small gear. Turn it right. And two runs each. Maybe I just got this mixed up. All right. Maybe I had it right the first time, huh? No, I don't want the... Uh, okay. There we go. I remembered the answer, I just didn't remember which which hands needed to be in the bottom spot. Another key. Look at me, I've got so many fucking keys on me right now. Here's the shield key. Pretty certain this uh, door out here was the Sword or helmet or something. Not the one I need. Right, there we go. Well, whatever. I'm going to go and save it now. And we have uh, a boss battle in the next, next ep. You know what? Fuck it. I'm running by it. Why don't I just do it? My only issue is, is that I don't think I have the room for what I want. I think I might need to pick up two things in this room. And I only have one inventory slot. Perfect. Discarded. Two slots. It must be fate. I never found Yawn to be too scary. Thanks. Richard! Sorry, Richard. That fucking snake played dead on us. Ooh, I do not want to get hit again. Hang on, there's a green herb. I'm gonna take it and run back in. Do not want to be hit. Oh, come on. I gotta go back in that room because I gotta get the mask. Stupid.
I don't think that this game actively uh, shows you how injured you really are. Because it says I'm on red, and that's not good. Let's go back into yawn. Get out of here, yawn. Please. Because I just need the mask. Just let me grab the mask. Thank you. Fucking yawn. Alright, now I can go and grab a serum. And then I can, can save it and we can be done. I wonder why they called it Yawn. It's a weird name for a giant snake boss thing. If anyone knows, please email me or tweet me. Or I guess you could just leave a comment on the video. I also made, I think that's the most difficult or the most difficulties I've ever had with Yawn. Which is saying something, because that should be a really easy boss fight. I just played it like shit. Also, no one answered if there was screen tear, so even though I'm still seeing it, I'm going to guess you guys didn't. I don't see it on the video, so... Uh, I'm just going to guess it's something to do with my FPS numbers. Oh, that's a crimson head now. With his little claws. I don't know for them if it's, um, if it is like a, a time limit. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's get rid of this and this and this. I think I have some green herbs in here. Or if I don't, then... Yeah, there you go. Alright, we're back to full health. Everything's fine again. Quit panicking, guys. Definitely expected to die during that yawn fight. Well, this has been a, a long episode. So... Although I did say I was going to do these longer. So... Alright. This is your your Thursday moly, and uh, I'll probably see you with some video over the weekend. If not, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, baby girls.